Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to optimize steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition using the Eurocode EN 1993. In this video, we are going to be focusing on performing the design and optimization and reviewing the results in the output file and the post processor. When you are ready to perform your analysis and design, you're going to save your model. Then go to the Analysis and Design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the Run Analysis icon. After the Analysis and Design is performed, you're going to review your STAT Analysis and Design dialog and see if you have any errors or warnings. If no errors or warnings are reported, you're ready to review your results. Now you can review your results in tabular format through the output file or in graphical format through the post-processing mode. We are going to start with the output file for today. So we'll select the View Output File radio button and then we'll click Done. Now once you enter the output file, we are going to see two different steel design options within our contents pane over at the left hand side. The reason we have two different steel design options is because we had two different steel design commands in our input file, one select command and one code check command. Let's go ahead and click on the first steel design option. Now the first part of this section contains the results of the select command for each member. It will report the optimized member size for each member that was included in the select command. Let's scroll down a little further to the end of this section. Now the second part of this section contains the results of the group commands. It will report the governing section size for each group that was defined after the select command. So here is my first group command, my second group command, and my third. Next, let's go ahead and select the second steel design option. Now this section contains the results of the code check command. This command checked the strength of the optimized member sizes according to the code requirements of the EN 1993 design code. So here are our new optimized section sizes and we are given pass or fail. And these optimized section sizes were checked within this command based on the redistributed forces from, from the second analysis. Let's go ahead and exit out of the post out of the output file. And we are going to proceed over to the post processing mode. So in the workflow panel over at the left hand side of your screen, we're now going to select post processing. Once we're in the post processor, we're going to go to the pane that says view results within the results tab of your ribbon toolbar. Within this area, we're going to find a layout icon and through the beam results, we're going to select the utilization layout. This layout will show you the results of your steel design. Your members on your screen will be color coded and their final interaction ratios will be indicated on screen. Along with this information, we're going to find our design results table over in the data area. And let's take a look at a few of the fields that might be of interest. The first field we're going to see is our analysis property. This will list the original property that is assigned to each of the steel members in the model when the first analysis is conducted. Next to that, we're going to find our design properties. This lists the property that was used when the final analysis is conducted. This is the property that was selected by STAD Pro as a result of the select command. Next adjacent to that, you're going to find your actual ratio. This will list the interaction ratio that was calculated during the check code command. This interaction ratio is associated with the optimized size or the design property. 
Now we also have some options where you can control this view within this design results table. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to the results tab in the ribbon toolbar and select the select load case icon. Here I'm going to tell the program that I want to view a particular group. So I'm going to select view the roof, roof girders only. We'll go ahead and click OK. And now we can see that the re design results are filtered so that we're only seeing the results of the roof girders only. Now notice that STAD Pro has chosen an IPEA 330 for each member. All members have also been optimized to the same size as a result of the group command that we issued. Let's go ahead and take a further look. If we select the load cases icon again, we can select also the floor beams. Let's go ahead and click OK. And now we're seeing the results of the floor beams only. Now the floor beams were not included in a group command, so a different size may be assigned to each of the floor beams in your model. If we want to see everything again, we're just going to come right back to the same area, click All, and then we'll click OK. Now, although the results of the design properties are available in the post-processing mode, these sizes must still be assigned to the members in the model through the modeling mode. The select command will suggest alternate sizes, but it does not replace the original sizes in the input file. So to complete the design, you will have to make some additional changes. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.